What it do, y'all? Let's get into it. We ain't finna waste no time. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Y'all see, we got Miss Monique. They over there cooking burgers. They're trying to figure out who can make the best burgers in the family. Okay. As we see, we got the Shea. We got Brooklyn. And we got Miss Monique. It's gonna be good then. It's gonna be good then. We just gonna be good then. Who all cooking? Let's see. Let's see. It's greasy. Okay, so we're gonna. Here, look at what I got. We're gonna look at each other's ingredients. Well, whatever we got, we already got. So. They already went to the store and everything. So if you need to see that part, make sure y'all go check out the original video on Miss Monique's channel. Man, go show her some love and support on her channel. Make sure y'all subscribe and hit the like button a thousand times and more. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's keep it going. So it's, it's, it's one v three. One v one v one. Yeah, one v one. Ain't shoes on the wrong feet. Put that Bali. Take your shoes off. Man, I'm trying to me put it in there. Take your shoes off. Okay, Brooklyn, you know how to cook? I ain't even know that. <laughs> I ain't even know that. No shoes in my house. I'm really a freaking cook, bro. Oh, oh, this, oh, this is what I want to tell you guys, too. We're going to do this again this year. This was so fun. So this is our Elf on the Shelf, and we're going to be hiding him in, dip, in the video in different videos a certain amount of time uh. and you guys have to be you guys have to watch the video throughout the video to find him and What's whoever, whoever yeah. finds him screenshot it to me and send it to me in the different locations you find him and i'll send you cash prizes that's fire. Yeah. hey that's fire shit i just found him right here he's right there on the screen right in front of me i'm finna take a screenshot now and i'm finna send it to you right now i just found him he's right there in front of me <laughs> watch this y'all if it work, I'll let y'all know. Next video, I'll let y'all know if it work. She probably sent me some cash. Watch this. Ms. Monique, I'm going to send her a video. Hey, look. Look, I found him. He right here in your hand. Go ahead and send that cash through the cash app. I got you. Hey. That's the cash app you crazy. So, um, yeah. So, the next video after this, you know it's $50 each time. All right. So, the next video after this That's cool. is going to be, he's going to be hitting 10 times inside of the video. Yeah. No, let's do five. Should I do five or 10 times? 10. Five times. Ooh. Five times in the video. You got to remember what you look like. Make sure y'all remember what you look like. Right. Five times in the video. Right. <laughs> you sure I really do this? She's gonna laugh when she sees this. You know what I'm saying? Look at my meat. You know what I'm saying? Um, Make sure your meat. Make sure your meat is really meaty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got low key, but me, I like to make love to the meat. You know? Ah. Kiss the meat. I kiss the meat. I love the meat. You know what I'm saying? Jerk the meat. Make sure it's good. You feel me? Ew! Put a piece of the meat. You want those creepy shit. Kiss the tip of the meat. You gotta kiss the tip of the meat. Don't kiss the tip of the meat. Is it really meat? You're disgusting. I'm just saying. You so you be kissing the tip of the meat? Yeah, you gotta kiss the tip of the meat. Lock your door, Alan. Kiss the tip of the meat. Lock your door, Alan. You just missed. Yeah, this is the tip of this the meat. This is some real meat. I'm not gonna lie. This right here is some real meat. I can bad. I can bad. I can bad. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Look at that meat. <laughs> oh, you had to bad. You had to bad, man. Like, I literally did not have drugs. I didn't do drugs. I didn't drink. I didn't do nothing. I don't know. I even got him. I even got him christened. <laughs> I don't think this is drugs, Monique. I think this is just just say, just being dishe. I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with nothing else. Stop! You ain't playing with me. You know what I'm saying? Disrespect me. That's good. I like that. Yeah. You better be trying that burger. Huh? Huh? Yeah, I got you, baby. You put the meat. I got you. I'm not a part of that. Anyway. This is gonna go I like to hey, put stop. this inside the Yeah, I feel you on that, Miss Monique. That's why I don't, nah. I don't know what you're doing, his hand. I ain't eating that neither. I feel you on that too. Nah. Even? Because it's not gonna cook really evenly. Oh. I'm good. I'm, 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 I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. 
Okay, so now we're gonna get to touching all over. Oh, over. My meat though. I'm always praying. Smells good. <laughs> my meat smells good. Okay, so this is our meat. Okay. See, it's nice and pink. My meat is nice and pink. <laughs> She's trying to use some teeth. You have to pay for the teeth again. <laughs> you better chill out. She's trying to use some veneers. You have to pay for them. You can get a knife. Yeah, that's the easiest way. I tell y'all yesterday about them beans when she was eating them beans she's gonna be farting but i'll tell y'all and now look what's going on i told y'all y'all be thinking i'm playing i ain't playing i don't ate enough food on this planet to know what's right and what's wrong I'll tell you that right now I told you she's gonna be in there thing farting stinking up the place mm -hmm. she told him no beans no <laughs> no 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 now you're making a over here let's get ready huh? all that cheese she had on that uh that bowl yesterday Okay, Cheese so guys, nice. told you. welcome to another hey, that's, cooking that's a girl. challenge. So we just left the grocery store. If you don't shut your ass up, okay. Okay, so we are gonna do a cooking challenge, and we're gonna be seeing who can make the best burgers. I know it's a very simple. It seems like a very simple meal, but. Depending on how you make the meal, it can be like a really good thing. So we are going to see who make the best burgers. We just came back from Whole Foods. Whole Foods. That's right. My bad. I don't remember. Whole Foods. That's I was thinking that, and I don't know why the freak I said Walmart. And I'm going to tell you I'm going to win already because I want this one. Y'all got these spices in it. It's greasy. <laughs> okay, so we're going to... Here, look what I got. We're gonna look at each other's ingredients. Well, whatever we got, we already got. So, yeah, wait, this is not all mine. You gotta be split to three. So like here, you go on that side to chase. What side? What, here, I, I'm, I'm gonna cook right here. Okay, so I'm gonna cook over here. You move more, more over there. So mine is the my station over here. Yeah. Why are you turning the light on? Light. Okay. So here, you have to be that's a shake bag. That whole bag is for you. Oh, where's my bag? No, no, no. Oh, it's more over there. No, there, there's nothing in there. You have to go over there. No, it doesn't matter. Oh. <laughs> Wait, no, it's not mine. Where's the butter? The butter for there. So these are my ingredients. Wait, I can use the butter though, right? Yeah, we're okay. Look what I got. We know what this is. This is our secret. Oh, that's mine. See what I'm saying? It's crazy. Burger's definitely gonna taste good, I'm pretty sure, but I'm allergic to butter and cheese. Anything that's dairy, so if you was to put butter in that pan and then cook that meat with that. It would destroy my stomach. And this is why I say, like, when you go to these restaurants, you got to know how they, the ingredients in their food and how they cook it. Because, again, if you put butter in that pan and you cook food in it, it would destroy my stomach. Because I'm lactose intolerant. See what I'm saying? But they're not going to tell you that. They're just going to show you the menu and you're going to pick on the menu. And then you eat and then you get food poisoning and you end up sick and you're trying to figure out what happened. 
And this is why I say, essentially, I only cook for myself. <laughs> and I don't allow people to cook for me because they use ingredients that obviously don't mix with my body. Even though it mixed with other people's. Which is totally fine. That's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, like you gotta make my food separately. It just is what it is. And I know a lot of y'all um, older women know about that. Because grandfathers probably had their meals mixed differently compared to the rest of the family. And I know y'all remember that. Because the men had to eat differently. I don't know what changed. I don't know why they started giving men and women the same food. But it wasn't like that before. It was not like that before at all. The man always had a different plate. It was always prepared differently. It was always prepared first. Tradition has just been changing. I'll tell you what. See, don't say nothing. I want to see. Who does it? Who does it? I really want to see. Can I use your guys' spices? No, you can't use it. <laughs> so, so y'all can use her butter, but she can't use y'all spices. How y'all gonna do y'all mom like that? Really? They both said the same thing. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, 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 okay. That's good. That means you taught them right. Okay, so that's a good thing. It's not bad. It's a good thing, actually. Lesson in disguise right there. I, I know she was trying to see if they was going to do it or not, but that means you taught them right. You raised them right to wash their damn hands. So that's good. That's a plus. That's a plus for you. You know what I'm saying? That's a plus for you. That's a plus for Miss Monique, right? For sure. Because some people don't wash their hands. Dub. Hey, hey, the shade Dub don't be washing his hands. He told me he gonna use the bathroom, then he don't wash his man, boy. He told me something. It ain't dirty, boy. You don't wash your mind. You better wash your hands. <sighs> Mom, what? You need to wash your hands. I literally just did. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna start Mom. because wait. <gasps> Is this my? Is this my bacon? Put the uh, bacon on the burger. Ooh, that's gonna be good. Can I, can I, um, can I skip a little bit, y'all? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I love that. What are we doing with elf now? I'm gonna do this again this year. This was so fun. So this is. Okay. Yes. Yeah, Let's try it. To me, in the different locations you find him, and I'll send you cash prizes. I repeat, got the video to find him, and Let's whoever, whoever finds him. Screenshot it to me and send it to me in the different locations you find him, and I'll send you cash prizes. Y'all got it? Okay. She showed it before, but I wanted to show y'all again so y'all can get it. We're going to skip to the part where they test test. Um, y'all go watch the full video when they prepare it. If you want to see how they prepared it and everything, we're going to skip through it all. Only because it's, it's millions of YouTubers and I have a lot to do. <laughs> I'm just letting y'all know that right now. I have a lot to do. It's a lot of people um, finally taking that leap of faith and um, becoming a YouTuber. And um, I'm just here to support. I'm here to show y'all love. So support y'all, man. I noticed back in the day, man, I had a bunch of videos where other people, their channels got taken down. I still had their videos. They like, how did you, how you still have my videos? I was like, hey, I had it since the beginning, you know? And they appreciate that, that I, you know, 
kept that even though YouTube wasn't able to keep their channels up and running, you know? So, just showing love and support. It always works out at the end. Ooh, yeah, they going in, y'all. I ain't going to lie. Might jump in right or Yeah, yeah, a little 10, a little 12, 15 minutes. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. All right, we got it. We'll go right here. That's good. They, they going in now. Yo, Brooklyn, when we going to church? Miss Monique, tell Brooklyn go to church with me. <laughs> Miss Monique, tell Brooklyn go to church with me. You, you hear what I'm saying, y'all? Tell Brooklyn go to church with me. Because I know she ain't going to just get up and go. She can be like, I don't know him. So, Miss Monique, tell Brooklyn to go to church with me. It's one up the street. You're going to go. It's fun. It's fun. I ain't going to lie. When I go in, it's fun. I'm going to go on stage. I'm going to talk to everybody, too. When I go in, it's fun. I be making people cry. I make everybody cry. I always make people cry when I go. I tell the pastor, give me the mic, and let me talk to him for a second. Touch their heart and their soul. Mm. Put butter on the bread. I'm already allergic to bread. Let alone you put butter on the bread. Oh, you trying to kill me? <laughs> like I'm <gonna> be dead. <laughs> like literally. Like you put butter on the bread. Lactose intolerant. Oh my gosh. I already can't eat bread because of diabetes. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <sighs> but I know it tastes good though. I had plenty of burgers in my life. I know it tastes good though, for sure. I know it tastes good. But it's all processed because uh, I'm watching you do the process. <laughs> Literally. Like, after they already processed it, they get it to you. Wow. But y'all y'all ain't hearing me. <laughs> y'all ain't hearing me. <laughs> My dad told me I don't celebrate Christmas. Every day is Christmas. What you talking about? Every day is a blessing. I didn't have to wake up this morning. He could have left. He could have left me sleep. He could have left me dead. He told me to get your ass up. It was two o'clock in the morning. He said, "Get up." Every day is Christmas. There ain't no specific day. You ain't put. You ain't put, put no date on the blessings that my God sends to us. I'm sorry. You're not finna put no one date on that. Y'all ain't finna start that. Not in my kingdom. You know what I'm saying? So y'all can do that on your own. That one day celebrating one day Christmas. Christmas is every fucking day. And ain't nobody finna tell me no difference. God bless you with life every single day. Every day better be Christmas. And if you ain't that grateful enough, your, your faith and your grace isn't high enough. Huh. <laughs> Fuck y'all talking about one day for Christmas. You know, I lost your damn mind. Every day your birthday. One day for your birth. Man, you know, I lost your mind. That's a slap in the face. That's like blasphemy. Y'all crazy. <laughs> That's tough. He wake you up every day and you ain't, boy. <laughs> That's tough. Every day Christmas. Every day is a blessing. You wanna see that sun coming up here, man, boy? Yo, watch your mind. <laughs> you miss me with that. learn today y'all ain't seen heaven on earth you gonna learn today you gonna learn elon musk everybody we, we, we bringing it man it's just taking time man for y'all dumb ass people to wake up y'all need to hurry up and wake up y'all sleep y'all ain't awaken y'all sleep tomorrow some christmas one day y'all celebrate one day y'all be y'all be sad every other day until the holidays come then y'all happy that don't even make sense you wake up every single day. You got arms, legs. You can breathe. You can walk. You eat every day. You you blessed to see another fucking day. Every day is Christmas. Man, y'all better praise the Lord, man. Y'all tripping. That's tough. 
All right now. All right now. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all what that Holy Spirit sound like. Just wait. So, what age do you think you want to get married this year? Huh? What age do you want to get married? Want to get married? That's a good question. I don't know. Probably like, probably like thirty. I'm not 30, y'all. I'm literally... I'm 30. <laughs> Do I look it? Nope. Nope. Never will. 22. I should not be 30. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 23. Next month. Well, my birthday's next month. I'm not crazy, y'all. I'm going to be 23. What y'all want to do for my birthday? Let me know. Hello? Hello? vegetables and stuff all prepared. We're going to sauce neither i have to do everything plain <sighs> if you know you know <laughs> it's like because they'll put eggs in there they'll put they'll put milk in there and they'll mix it all to make the sauce and again lactose tolerant so it's like <sighs> you see what i'm saying so it's like y'all ever seen somebody go to y'all probably never seen it i used to work at fast food places but um 
people will come through the uh, drive through and be like, let me get three plain hamburgers. It's for my dog. <laughs> I'm like, so your dog? They be like, yeah, it's for my dog. My dog only eats the hamburgers. My dog doesn't eat the, the lettuce, doesn't eat none of the condiments, and doesn't eat the bread. I remember people used to say that, and I was like, and then they, you know, they'll pull up with their dog, and they take the little patty out and give it to the dog. So I was like, okay. Now, as I'm living life, I'm not learning that I damn near got to eat the same way. Most of the stuff that they process and all of that is too much pesticides and all this other stuff. It's like I'm better off kind of mixing together kind of how the dog eat it because it, it just seemed like it's more healthier. I tried it out. Let me mix some stuff together. Let me do this and that. Let me do this and that. I've been happy ever since. <laughs> I've been happy ever since. Like, I ain't had no stomach aches. I'm not running to the bathroom five and ten times a day. I might go once. Sometimes I only go once a week. You know what I'm saying? Because the body is accepting the food. It's accepting it. It ain't no, it ain't none of that going on. It ain't no tummy aches. It ain't no fatigue. It ain't no, oh, I need some more food. It ain't none of that going on. It's straight eating and living. And that's it. As I should, right? Then I fuck around and be like, you know what? Man, let me, uh, going out. I might be like, yeah, let me get a burger. Let me just try it out. Eat the burger. Next time I know I'm waking up 2 o'clock in the morning like, oh, my stomach hurt. Oh, sitting there on the toilet like, why did I do that? Knowing, knowing that I just went through 10 years of processing food, of studying food, studying, buying all the foods and studying them one by one. Knowing that this shit does not work. But still, like, you know what? I want to try it out. I just want to try it out. You know, I just want to try it out. Maybe, 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 maybe my, now my body can accept it. I go in there and be like, oh my gosh, why did I just do that? So I'm just saying, y'all, as you get older, you start noticing. <laughs> you going to start noticing some things. So make sure that you don't have any addictions to food. Because a lot of people have addictions to food. They think that they can't live without the food. Even though God is the source of energy and life. Again, don't grab any addictions to the food. <laughs> so me personally, I like to practice stuff like a scientist. I went two weeks, two weeks, no food, no water, nothing at all. Just nothing, dry, dry fast. I felt better. After the two weeks, I felt so good. And I was just like, uh, well, let, let's just, I guess I can get something. I hadn't had anything in two weeks. I'm like, I guess I can get something. Then I started back, I went back into that process again. Learning. Learning that, like, it's like, bro, where are you getting your energy from? That is the main question. Where does your energy come from? Where does your intellect come from? Where did your hair come from? Why does your heart beat? Where does anything and everything come from? It came from the creator, right? So where do you get your energy from? Who wakes you up every morning? You know, when you start asking yourself these questions, when you put God first, and then you start noticing the reality that you live in, then you start noticing the things that people are doing outside, then you start noticing how they sponsor so much stuff just right in your face. The question is, if, if everything was so good, why do you have to promote it so hard? Why do you have to throw it in front of my face so much? Why every time I scroll somewhere, I got to see something that you're trying to promote to me? If it was so good, why do you have to promote it so much? Because it's not that good. And they know that. <laughs> How come when I look at the commercial, it look one way, but when I get the food, it look a different? Because it's not that good and because it's not the same. So as you, as you notice these things, you're like, okay. So what's the point of them promoting it, right? What's the point of that? To put you in a habitual cycle. Why? Why, why? why would they want to put you in a cycle? Because you're paying their bills. <laughs> Essentially, you're paying their bills. They're studying your body just like a lab rat. They keep building all these new different things, these new different items. Y'all see on TikTok every day is new different foods, new different inventions, and they test it on you like a lab rat. They're not eating this stuff. They let y'all eat this stuff to see if you're going to survive or not while they survive and thrive. So then you start noticing, what are the billionaires eating? Have y'all ever seen the billionaires have a plate? Have you ever seen the billionaires have a plate of food? No. You ever seen the president sit down and eat food? No. You never asked yourself why, have you? 
So again, when you're looking at the people who build these programs, who build these structures, you start looking at what they do in the elite people, the people that's on the very top, the people who are on the very top, who has the give or say if you can lead the planet or not, the people that's on the top. Look at what these people are doing and look at what you're doing and see the difference. And then you start noticing the consumption. You start checking out where your money going to. Check out the consumption of where your money going to. Just write down a list of what you put, spend your money on in a whole week, a whole month, and then check out what they do with their money. Then you can figure out how they became a billionaire, how the rich become richer, and how poor become poor. You, you see it. It's right in front of your damn face. The people make the same fucking mistakes every single day. They make the same mistakes over and over and over in a cycle, and they think it's okay. But again... We came into this world, we're trying to defeat these karmic cycles, we're trying to get out of all these depressions, we're trying to get out of all these medications, we're trying to get out people to, to better times. So again, you ain't got to listen to nothing I'm saying. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Because a lot of people ain't got the ears to hear. We know that. Like I told y'all, my brother Jesus tried to tell y'all one thing and y'all did another. So again, it's going to be a lot of us that come out and try to teach y'all and lead y'all the right way, just like a teacher would. You know, just like a master would. Just like God would want us to do, right? We learn something. He would want us to teach y'all, right? I started noticing you can't teach these people. You can't teach these people nothing. The devil got their mind shackled down. You can't teach them nothing. All you can do is lead by example. That's the only thing you really can do. And either they're going to pick it up or they're not. You can take that again. You can take that horse to that water. That don't mean that horse going to drink that water. That horse look at that water and play in it. He ain't got to drink that motherfucker. It don't mean he going to drink it. You can lead people to the billions. You can lead people to the millions. Don't mean they're going to take the ideas. Don't mean they're going to they gonna cop up on, on what's going on. They're not, oh, they, they, they not going to see it. I had to find out that if they don't see it, that means God didn't want them to see it. And that's a hard pill to swallow. Because you feel like you want everybody to see it. You want everybody to see that good day. You want everybody to see good health. You want everybody to be happy. But you don't know what these people have done to other people. You don't know what pe these people have said behind your back. You don't know what these people on on on. You don't know nothing. You see what I'm saying? Karma has to do its justice. So sometimes we be saving people who we, we don't need to be trying to save. They got to go through their karma. Karma is real. Somebody on kill some people and you over there trying to save them like, yo, just come this way and do this and do that. They still got to deal with the karma. And if you going, you, you with them, you're going to go down with them. So just take heed. That's why they always say, watch the people you're around. You are like the, you know, the five, six, ten people that's around you, the closest people. That's why I always say, I put God first. I got my mom, my dad, and then my initial family, which is my sister. And then that's about it. <laughs> I had a best friend part of that, but we had to cut his ass off too. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes you might have to do that. You just got to pay attention. And it hurt. I know in the name 15 years, sometimes I just got, hey man, I can't even talk to you today. You being too negative, I can't talk to you today. I'm already pessimistic being a Pisces, but then I'm able to flip it. So I'll be optimistic. Like, it's raining outside. i be like, it's raining. Dang, it's raining, man. Because sometimes I'll walk to the store. But I'll be like, you know what? It's raining. I remember, uh, what was it? Prince. Prince said, purple rain. Purple rain, that's the only blessing to me. I'm finna go walk in the rain. Blessings to me. So now I'm walking in the rain. Blessings to me. I'm getting this fresh air. I'm getting fresh ideas. I'm opening up my mind. God walking with me. I'm safe. Get back home. I can get back home. I can just wash my clothes dry. We got all of that because God made sure I had all of that. I'm seeing the blessings. I'm seeing the greatness. I'm seeing everything in front of me that's there for me to use. Now, well, other people to look at it like, man, it's raining, man. I, man, I can't do nothing, man. I'm finna go to sleep. Man, I'm tired. Of this. There's all this rain and weather, man. You see how down in that is? That shit sound dumb. That shit sound dumb when you have you have that 24 hours compared to, again, like I told y'all, you see how people spend their 24 hours? They sit there in depression while the next person still got up and still getting it. The money don't stop. Life don't stop. The earth don't stop. We don't stop. So it don't make no sense to be sitting there in depression. You sit there in depression, next thing you know, your auntie call and like, oh, uh, your grandma died. And now you like, damn, man. Yeah, now you really going to be like, damn, man. And now you just going down and down and down and down and down in a deeper hole. And that's the sunken place. They told y'all about that on Get Out. It was a movie. But some of y'all just be looking at these movies like they movies. This real life. The only thing is the movies hasn't caught up yet. The movies haven't caught up yet. But it's, they're going to. All these movies y'all watching think it's just a movie. They're not just movies. All that conjuring and stuff, that's not just a movie. 
I'm gonna tell hey, y'all gonna see, bro. Y'all gonna see soon enough. I promise you. I promise you. Spirits are real. Just remember that. Y'all better y'all better stay on that holy side. It's getting real out here. Get on fire for God. For sure. Light up for God. Oh yeah. Cause after the wealth separate, you're gonna see the people gonna separate. When the wealth separate, the people gonna separate. As the money transfers, you're gonna see what's gonna happen. The wars in the country, that's 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 slight stuff. That's not even that's not even a bigger plot. That's slight stuff. Mm, they do look good though. She did that. She did that. I ain't gonna lie, she did that. 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 What he over there doing? Burning up some stuff? <laughs> yeah, burning up some stuff? It's all good. It don't cook all the way through because you got it up too high. You got it too high, it's just gonna burn one side, it's not gonna cook all the way through. You got this the fire up too high for you to cook all the way through the shay. <sighs> Gosh, well, you know you can't cook, but it's okay. You got the fire up too high to show. Turn the fire down so that way it can cook all the way through. That's the only problem that you have right now. You just got the fire up too high. That's why it's so smoky and steamy. There's no reason for the fire to be up that high. That just means you can't cook. Or you're trying to rush. One of the two. But regardless, you're going to end up getting sick. Turn the heat down. I used to be mad at my mom when she'd tell me to turn the damn heat down. I was like, why you keep telling me to turn the heat down? I'm trying to cook this shit. She like, it ain't gotta be up that high. And I finally, yeah, I was like, nah, I know. It really don't. Like, well, especially after the pan is hot. Man, you can turn that thing down, man. It's gonna it's gonna cook. And you can also put put a little top over it. Put the top over it so that way it can it can cook all the way through. You then flip it, put the top back on it, make sure, you know what I'm saying? But again, like. Sometimes we be rushing. We be like, man, I'm trying to get back to the game. Uh, I'm trying to get back. I'm trying to get back. I'm trying to get back to my video. I, I ain't got time to be sitting there trying to cook that shit all the way through. So I, I get it. But that's why you meal prep. You do stuff like that. You pre cook. You know what I'm saying? You cook in the mornings. Cook at night so that way the next day you have some food. I tend to cook at night now. I noticed. Um, but yeah, you just you find some type of way to find some time to be able to implement healthy eating and healthy living. You know what I'm saying? It's always some time. You got to figure out where that time is. Like I told you, I wake up at 2 in the morning. So normally, 2 in the morning, I ain't going to lie. I used to meal prep 2 in the morning. I used to make lots of food in the morning. So by the time I'm done with all that, it'd be about 4. About 2 hours later, about 4 o'clock. I have like, you know, I have like 8 eight plates full of dishes. I mean, 8 plates full of food. Got all different foods on there. I'll put it all in the refrigerator. And then as the day go, I'll take out 2 or 3 plates. i eat that. Then the next day I have 2 or 3. And then I have to meal prep again. And then I'll make some more. You know what I'm saying? Because there's only so much room you can put in the refrigerator, obviously. You know? And I ain't got so many containers. But I used to do that junk a lot. I used to do that junk a lot. That's back when I was working um, in Alpharetta, Georgia. Stuff like that. I used to work with my mom's. So I was doing some stuff with her. And yeah. 
She was like, you need to go get some groceries. I was like, all right, I guess. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get these groceries in. Five more. Mom, you turned my stuff off? I didn't check I didn't check it. Oh. Oh, you can't go on stuff off? I didn't check it. Oh. Yes, I was. I'm saying she be thinking she just know everything and just so good with it. I knew that was going to happen. I was waiting for it. I don't know when the last time I heard that thing. Not from me cooking. I don't know when the last time I heard that thing. I, I even open the windows. As soon as I start opening the windows. And let the air breeze through, you know? So, we're ready. Our presentation. Ooh, okay, okay. Ooh, I like how y'all did that. How y'all cut it up in fours and threes or whatever the case may be. That look good, okay. One, two, three. Like, one being the best, third being the least. This looks, this looks pretty good, not gonna lie. Okay. It's like a little kid's move type. <laughs> but it looks good. I like the, the toppings on it and stuff. Some of this looks. This bread. It's like a twist of bread. The meat looks. The meat is meaty. <laughs> this. This looks official. This like something you get from a restaurant or something. Mm -hmm. Restaurant. Yeah, second one. Yeah, the second one looks sure great. Looks good. All of them look good. The first one looked like something from a restaurant too. Looked like something from uh. Another try it. Um. Like some sliders. I can't remember who did the sliders, like Applebee's or something. Applebee's got the sliders and stuff for the kids, and so the kids' sliders and stuff. That was like, the second one definitely like something from like a restaurant, like gourmet restaurant. They don't, they don't chop that thing up. Uh, 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 uh. Who did that the second one? And then the third one, I couldn't see that one. I ain't show yet. Show the third one a little more? I gotta see the third one. I ain't see it yet. Oh, this, them Hawaiian rolls? That's why that one was like that. The Hawaiian, I think them Hawaiian rolls. That's why that one looked like that. Like some kids' sliders. Pretty fire, though. How you feeling? Okay. He's speechless. We don't need to. How you feeling? Where are you at? Where, uh, That's pretty good. Where Brooklyn money okay. That's pretty good. It's like in and out. The better bread. Oh, okay. Okay. Say okay. good, baby. Let me go ahead and try this. That one is not. I like the bread on this. The meat looks good. I like that. They use lettuce, cheese. Damn. <laughs> that one busting, busting. That's good. <laughs> yeah, the way he said, the way he looked at it, the way he's just like. Yeah, that one busted. Yeah, that one busted. He want that whole plate on that one. All right, try the first one. Don't eat the whole thing. Don't get fooled. Try that first one. Yeah, get another bite on that one. So far, the second one. That's one so far. All right, throw. Who made this one? The third one. And where where they at? Where Brooklyn and Monique went? The heck? Last one. It's the last one. Hey, who made this one? Okay, let's see, let's see. Bread look nice though. Mmm. So I don't do it. I don't know what sauce they use for this. But this sauce is like... Hmm. That's good. So right one, one, two, which one is the best burger? Yeah, which one the best? Hmm. Mm. 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 I gotta get it to the second one. 
I say this is the best. Which one was it? This was the the second burger. The second burger, it looked like it would be the best. That that like you said, that one down on the last one, it looked like it'd be the sauce. You had that sauce on that second one. I'm I'm bet you that'd be. I don't know about that first one over there. <laughs> I don't know about that first one. The second one the best. What's the second best? What's the second best? Second best, best definitely this one. This one, so. Which one is that? First I think one. the sauce and the, yeah, I think the burger itself. Oh, the third like one. Messing the little seasoning, but the sauce like makes up for it. Mm -hmm. So anyway, the second burger that you said is that the first, the first one or the last one? Is this the one? Last one. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Boom. yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. But what's the last one missing? What's wrong with it? Um, compared to the rest, like it, I think it's just like plain. Plain, yeah, it looked plain. I was gonna say, see, I, don't know, I can see it from right here. I can, I'm not. I told y'all, bro. <laughs> I've been cooking food too long, bro. I've been looking at food too long, bro. I, I can just tell. You can look here and see that it's plain. That's why you say like kid nibblers. Like you just put, you put a couple things on top. It looks too plain. It's not as juicy too. I really kind of see it. It's like, you know, compared to the rest. I can definitely be a full critic. I get y'all right. They just don't want me to do that. Now they don't want me to do that. I'll be too harsh. A six. Two, not bad. This, I gotta give this like a nine point five. Nine point five. That's just, just good right there. And then this, I give it like a. I give it like eight point seven. It's almost there. Almost set to that nine mark. Just missing like that flavor in the burger itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, little. All right. See y'all in the next one, man. Good job. Good job. Good job. Thanks for the video, Miss Monique. We out. Peace.